Hi, I would like to show you what AMZ Ping is, what it does and how you can use it in your Amazon business. Uh, we will be looking at my personal account, so my personal sales, and we have this feature to obscure the product data with the little origamis instead. You can use this feature for taking screenshots of the app or demoing to others as well. All right, so here we go. So on the dashboard, you will see the sales for today, sales for yesterday, and sales for the last 30 days. I see that all the sales right now are showing in US dollars, which I can switch very quickly to euros. So we go to the settings and we switch this to euros. When you go back to the dashboard, you'll right away see everything in euros. This is really useful if you are a European seller and you like to see everything in your home currency. What else do we have on the dashboard? So you can see that in December I had a lot of nice sales and the rest of the year is not looking so good to me. Uh, you will see that I have a lot of hijackers on my listings, so there's been a lot of new sellers coming. Uh, you can as well see that I have overstock on 58 products and seven products are out of stock so i really like to overstock everything as you see <laughs> my top seller is vivera this is in the last 30 days you can see which products are doing the best for you and the most fun widget here is the inventory value you can see that it cost me 53,000 euros to acquire all my products so that is uh, manufacturing and shipping cost and if they would all sell today I would make this much profit. So this is a nice way to see how much your inventory is worth. There are some other fun widgets here as well. So I'd like to drill down a little more now into, uh, into each of these. Let's say you would like to analyze why, why is the sales going so slow. For example, you know my problem is going really slow. So I will just click on last 30 days and try to analyze what's happening. I see that Vivera has pretty high refund rate. So I will click on the row to expand it. And then it will show me for each of the uh, marketplaces how many units it sold and what was happening. So I can see right away uh, that Italy is doing pretty bad for me. I didn't sell that much. And because of the refund and PPC costs, I lost all my profits. Uh, Japan is not doing good because it's not selling anything and I'm just spending on PPC there. Germany is not buying anything. So you see all the European countries or uh, Mexico, everything, you can just compare side by side and see uh, which country is performing the best. So for me, United States are doing the best. Uh, I also see, for example, Blue Bunny it has extra high refund rate. And if I drill down into the stats, I can see that ah, Germany was refunding more than buying. So that refund came from the previous month and is really losing me a lot of money because of the refunds. So that's the way you can analyze your, um, each of your products and see how they are selling. It's very nice that it combines all the different uh, currencies into, uh, I mean, it combines all the different numbers into one for you so for example this blue bunny made 8.97 uh, german pounds german pounds <laughs> british pounds and uh, it's actually 10 euros and uh, we're converting all the currencies of the local marketplace to your uh, preferred currency so it's really nice to see just in one currency how much you made across all the Amazon marketplaces that you're selling on. Uh, if you noticed that I had a lot of new sellers that are jumping on my listings. So for sellers, you can check, uh, you know, which, which ones are being affected. So I see that in Canada, this blue bunny being attacked by three sellers and so on. So, and it's been a long time that they came. So more than 30 days have passed. Uh, uh, so each of these listings you can analyze individually and then if you need you can send season business letter to those guys um, we also have inventory overview so here you could see for example in UK you would like to look at your stock 
And I see that I've run out of this item that I should be ordering right now. Uh, for uh, France, for example, I see that I have 38 units of Octor Dragon, but stored locally is zero. Stored locally means that it's actually stored in France. Oh, that was loud. I got a new sale. See, when a new sale comes in, you get a notification like this, which is really nice. And then you can go and check it out. What did you sell? It says, good going. And I see that one more Canubia sold today. Uh, so back to inventory overview. I just wanted to mention that uh, you can see how many are stored locally in France FBA warehouse and how many are available to sell in France. So in this case, I am storing everything in UK FBA warehouse. So 41 units are available from UK, but in France locally is actually nothing because everything will be shipped from UK. Um, and then you can analyze in how many days you can reorder your things. For example, in the United States, I can see that these two items are only good for half a month and I should be ordering already very soon. So it's a nice way to see, to manage your uh, inventory and plan in advance. It tells you that if you want to ship by sea, you have to order in eight days from now. And then I would like to also show you one more thing, which is related to VAT uh, sales tax collection. For example, here we will take this hedgehog and I am not selling it in the United Kingdom, ah, but I'm selling it in France. So if I open it up, you will see there is a collected sales tax rate that you can set up. You can say, uh, because I am registered in UK, I've put in 20% here. So uh, if you put that in, then every time it will be taken account into account in your uh, calculations for profit. Whenever you are looking in your sales overview for, let's say, a UK item, you will see collected sales tax subtracted from, from your revenue. So that way you can see your true profit. Uh, this is really useful to, uh, to be able to tell how much money you are actually making, not taking into account anything that you will have to remit back to government at the end of the year. Alright, so that's pretty much it. There are some other little fun things here. You can explore it yourself. I hope you like it. We have a free trial and no credit card is required for that. Sign up and enjoy. Thanks.